Hi guys and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to copy or rip your DVD to your computer. Okay so first we need a program called WinX DVD Ripper. There's a free version of this and I'm using the paid for version. It isn't that much money so I'd recommend getting this one because it gives you some extra features. Okay, so first thing we need to do is to insert your DVD into your computer. And once you have, the DVD should load automatically into the application. And if it does play, then we do not want it to. It'll just need to close that. As you see, this is a proper DVD I'm using. Okay. And we want to convert this to a 1080p file on my hard disk. Okay, so the output folder for the copy will be whatever you select there. It will automatically select the right title, so if you've got lots of adverts be uh, before your video, it will detect which part is the actual DVD. So what I select is to MP4 because that's just why the sort of the file the file extension that I like. So to MP4, uh, select the audio. And if you want any subtitles, select them as well. This section below, I'd tend to keep the same. Although I would use as many CPU cores as your PC has got. Although I'm going to take it down on, mi on mine because I'm recording at the minute. So that may slow the machine down. So the faster, the faster machine you have, the faster process you have, the faster the DVD will rip. Okay, so we need to tick the use high quality engine. That will improve the quality of the video. Okay, so the video re resolution we need to set for 1080p HD 1920 by 1080 you can set it by 1280 by 720 or something lower, which will actually change the quality of the video. As soon as this video isn't 1080p HD, I'm just going to leave it as the original. Okay. Okay, so. Now what we need to do is to select the output folder. For the purposes, purpose of this video, I'm going to put it onto my SSD because it'll be quicker. And put it in this folder called DVD Rip. Okay, so select this folder in the application. There. Okay, so from here you now need to click on start. Now this will take a long time, so what I recommend is you go and make yourself a brew and come back when it's done. Okay, so now once the DVD has fully ripped, you'll notice that we have a file in the directory that we exported it to. And we should now be able to run that and we should get the video. Okay, so thanks for checking out my video on how to rip a DVD to your hard drive. So please like, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out my new Facebook page at facebook.com slash Ben's Tech Tips.